Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Buggy. I'm here with the homie Strands. Yes, sir. Young Strands. You can call me Young Strands. Yeah, you we can call me motherfucking <laughs> um, Poppy El Negro. <laughs> His eyes are closed. You He's know searching what I mean? for it. <laughs> or you can call me motherfucking um, uh, Strands. Yeah, I like that. Facts. Yes, He's the homie, yo. We linked up a couple years ago. Been tight ever since. Fucking, Big we're in here during this quarantine shit. So, uh, oh, I wanted man. to get Strands in here and just talk to him. Fucking, um, but before we get into shit, tell the motherfuckers who you are, what you do, what you fucking yeah. want out of life. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I just want to. Okay, who I am? I am Young Strands, the only Young Strands. Facts. <laughs> in the fucking world, like, is no other Young Strands you go ever find. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh shit! But yeah, bro. Man. What do you want to do? What 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 you? So what look, you what I do, do, bro, man. I'm fucking like I'm just one of I'm just an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? I got my hands at everything. If you know me, you know the vibes. You know what I mean? That's they're a fact. they're always good. Yes. <laughs> they're always loud. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, furthermore, you know, just fucking with this music shit, man. Audio engineering. You know, I work for Jerry, the great Jerry Wanda. You know what I'm saying? The the famous, he's famous for playing the bass on that Maria Maria. So that, you know, that. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the big homie. You know what I'm so saying? Fire. Yeah, what did homie. you, um... When I met you, you were you were kind of rapping a little bit, and I was at a spot in my life where I had to take a step back and really hone in on the engineering. Right when I started doing that, you decided to move to Florida. Right. And right, what was right. it, Full Sail? Yeah, Full Sail University. So I went there. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in um, recording arts. You know what I'm saying? Five. And it was just always weird that, like, because, you know, I was kind of, like, taking furlough leaves from the hometown. So I'd be gone for, like, two, three months, and I'd come back and... You know, you just constantly be leveling up. Facts. You know, every time I leave, you have some more shit going on. Facts. And you constantly be leveling up. Then it just started getting, you know, everything started picking up. You start going to shows. Mm-hmm. Now I'm flying back for the shows every week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. There was a point Everything, where you were flying back. You know back what I mean? Just, just oh, yo, show. there there was there was one or two times where, like, I was on stage. And when I looked in the crowd, there's, like, two, two 300 people there. Right. And this is in a big venue that can fit, like, 4,000 people. Right. So it doesn't look like a lot. But all I saw was Strands with his glasses on, like, right in the middle in the back. And, yo, I got so fucking stoked, dude. Thank you, dude. Right. I got so fucking excited. You have no idea. That's that's the shit that matters to the musicians the most. Like, Facts, well, bro. the people who really care about this shit. Like, Facts. not about you buying records or wearing shirts or reposting music. It's about those little fucking things. Like, Facts, dude. Man. And if I could have one thing, bro, it'd probably be like a tub full of bad bitches getting along. <laughs> getting along. Getting along. <laughs> I was, I was like, I everybody wants that. Oh, all right, along. you're right. You're you know right. I mean? When you finish that statement, I was just like, getting along. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody happy, passing blunts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> that's <laughs> how the shows were, dude. Like, that's the beautiful thing about starting shit up. The, the the fresh start of something new. It's like, yeah, bro. It's like before people show them their real selves. It's weird. But bro, man. But so so how was that? So going to Florida, doing the music, and coming back and seeing what was connecting here. You were obviously still a hundred percent a part of everything down here. Yes. Yeah, you didn't miss a, a heartbeat. I kind of did feel like I was missing out on some shit though. You know what I mean? Like in the beginning. In the beginning, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good though because, you know, you know a lot of good shit came out of those vibes. Yeah. You know. That we were having at the House of Blues. Shout out to the House Facts. of Blues. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We used to get that shit cracking. You yeah, know what that I mean? shit. That's that's where it all. That was when it molded shit. together perfectly. One of the great things that came out of that shit, I think, is um Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We started an entire fucking cannabis brand. Make sure y'all go follow us on fucking Instagram at Grammys G R A. And that's from a statement that <laughs> when he used to rap, he would be like, from Grams to Grammys. Thank you, thank you. Everything comes full circle. And now, facts. Everything comes <laughs> facts. full circle, though. You know what So I mean? that's where I remember it from. Yes, so sir. now I really see, yes, I see it's just the growth period. Yes, sir. So it's just manifesting into a physical form now. We got the brand. We got mm-hmm. a little bit of merch popping off. You know what I'm saying? We, we're, we're getting a team of models together. So everything's picking up steam, bro. But for this whole quarantine shit, bro, it's like we're all well, punishment, well, bro. I wanted to lead into that like cuz cuz it's weird for me cuz I I've 
since the House of Booze, which is only a block from my house, I've just been recording out of my house, which is kind of sketchy with the coronavirus, but it's, it's the same people that I've been around. But, right. But my business has doubled right since this right and yours has completely right. stopped yeah bro. because and you have to commute to, to new york and it's sad because you know i was just in a group chat with the homies and shit from the studio where i work at manhattan are they still working at all no nah, everything's shut down and it's like bro people are starting to get sketchy like are we going to open back up are we not going to open back up like, oh because they don't know if the building itself like, is i don't good know what's going point. on you know what i'm saying like everyone's just like on walking on eggshells right now bro so it's just that's just sh- you know this I mean? this should show anybody that your person Personal relationships with people is what matters. Hell yeah, bro. Because it's like, fuck all the clout, fuck everything else. If that all went away, like how you that person's gonna remember how you tr- how you were treated, you know? Oh yeah, that oh yeah. that connection you had. Most so definitely. God like, forbid kinda, something like that fell through. Yeah, I know dude. you got good good relationships with the people. Nah, like definitely, that. but you know, it just opened my eyes, this whole quarantine thing, just to, you know, uh open up just to focus on opening up more um reliable sources of income. You know what I mean? That's what I'm noticing, too, because no. my whole shit has been music, you know, just any form of bring because that's my way of bringing people together. But when you can't bring people together physic literally because of a fucking something like that, that makes you think, like, how are we going to survive? That makes me break it down into a spot where there's no money, though. Right. But that's a different reality. Man, but a, rea- pro- a reality where that happens. I don't th- I think money would become obsolete. You know, it, it could be. But before it even becomes obsolete, I think that if you got some money laying around, you should fucking invest in the stock market right now. You know what I mean? Because I feel like now is a great time to fucking yeah, right invest, now. bro. It's a great time to invest. You know, everything's crashing. You know what I mean? And this is where everyone's selling. What are you gonna, are what, what Are you invested in anything? All right. I wasn't going to give this gym out to nobody. <laughs> You know, no, nah, because this needs to be. If it happens, it needs. This needs to be proof. This needs to be proof. But all right, this dude I was building with in the studio. I ain't gonna say no name. Shout out to Strands for the Henny. Shout out to that matter of fact. Let me take a pop before I drop this gem on these niggas. Mm-hmm. Put the blunt down. I'm a stop rolling. I'm a false rolling the blunt. Yeah, imagine someone who invested in fucking toilet paper or hand sanitizer or those masks right mm. before. Those dudes are fucking... Or even hand soap. Something anything, like that, bro. Anything. You know what I mean? Lysol. Anything, bro. Ramen noodles. Ramen, bro. Ramen. Bro. That's the one, dude. Yo, I was surprised, bro. I went to fucking Target today, bro. And guess what I found in there? Hmm. Hand sanitizer, bro. Oh, <laughs> shit. Apparently, hand that is that is like bro. gone right now, isn't it? I found hand sanitizer today, bro. Low key, and I wasn't even looking for that shit. That shit found me. How about that, bro? I, it is out in Jersey. Me. Wow. So yeah. that's the thing. Oh, yeah. So these people that you fuck with in New York, New York is obviously, for those who don't know, Jersey and New York are like right there, but South Jersey is way different than yeah, 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 North yeah. Jersey. But, but New York is way more strict. And people, you can't even go into New York, can you? Or you can't leave New York or something? Man, it's sad, bro. Like, I want to go. I'm having withdrawals from New York, bro. I miss just walking past police, smoking weed, (laughs) and things like that. You know what I mean? There's something about walking past. There's something about just walking past a fucking. Because our traumatized childhood, dude. Oh, we were treated like. Just smoking like mad pot, bro. Nazi camps with that. I said smoking like mad pot. Smelling like mad pot. <laughs> walking past the pub. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's the thing. This is it. People, are, people don't know how to hang out with themselves. People right. don't know how to just take a moment. And and that's what's fucked up. Everyone's so programmed to be these workhorses. So I'm gonna get Whereas, back. like, I'm prepared. Like, I was, I've been preparing for this since the House of Booze. Bro, honestly, I don't mind this coronavirus motherfucking quarantine shit bro because i do so much moving around during the course of a week bro you know i get down bro we don't even sleep when it comes to this shit so like i'm enjoying this shit i love playing my video game i'm in the crib on it PS4. gives you an excuse to do it i'm on 2k yeah. i'm getting right it gives you an excuse to play it. and not even that bro before i get back to the gym that i'm gonna drop about the stock market for the people i'm gonna talk about some shit that happened to me today i thought you said I, I, b- before i get to the gym before I get to the gym, not <laughs> like the, I started working out again. Not today. like lifting weights. I lift blunts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not fucking lifting weights right now. I'm lifting ounces. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I wish. <laughs> I'm joking. I wish there was a video. F- I wish there was a video for this because I'd be th- throwing like little fucking graphics of blunts. Yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's just you, you need some sound effects like for certain shit like 
like like the <laughs> like Tory Lanez has sound effects so for everything, bro. Like when people were when you posted that status, besides the other one which you're about to get into, right. I clicked on Tor. I just went to Tory's just to see what you were talking about. Right. And there was 175 thousand people in there. Bro, it, it maxed out. It tapped out at 300k. Today, he had 300,000 viewers on Instagram Live during quarantine. Bitches on there twerking, shaking <laughs> that ass. Uh, ass. Should, is that, does that break the guidelines? Like, would it, can Instagram block them from... No, you just can't put your pussy lips on live. <laughs> that's the only thing you can't do. If you got, pit, if oh, you got boy so shorts, great. you can put the pussy lips on live, but <laughs> it can't be bare... Pussy lips. I give you a thousand. Boosie, dollars. Boosie done fucked that up. And speaking of quarantine, I just scrolling down my fucking Instagrams here. I just want to take the time to say, free YMW Melly. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be released from jail. But they're not letting him out because of this? Because the courts is closed where he's currently oh, locked up. Oh, oh, see, coronavirus Think about, think about like all the people man. going through that shit, man, bro. And some people's getting let out. But did you see the video of the people breaking out of jail in Washington, bro? <laughs> that was, oh, that was here? That was in Washington. I thought that was in, like, By Seattle. Mexico like, or something. Nah, that was in the United States. They fucking threw a table at the fucking shit. And, like, 20 niggas started went for fucking a run. Rolling, rolling ass. It <laughs> went for a run, dude. Oh, that's so great. They ain't getting caught, because police ain't even working during this shit, bro. They don't want to get close to nobody, bro. So them people was motherfucking good. If they can get to Mexico, we should have did this good, two, a month ago. Two months ago. Have you been following the chart? No, I haven't, bro. But the cases are getting crazy out we're here. We're going right up, now, bro. I, I, I started watching a week ago, and we were at 60 million, and China was at 80 million. Uh-oh. Right now, we're at 185 million, and China's at 81 million. <sighs> Just mark the blood. Damn, that's crazy. So, like, we're going way up. And remember what people were saying about Italy? Italy's really getting it? Yeah. They're still 80 million under us. But the thing about Italy is the spike that it went. It went up, like... That's crazy. Like that. So, so, so... I think we're all going to get it. So, let me tell you like, guys there's about... There's no what, way we're not going to get it. All right, I'm going to double back now because I'm losing my train of thought because I'm sipping honey. But I'm going to tell you all <laughs> what happened to me on PlayStation today. Bro. <laughs> oh, shit. So, I'm going to NBA 2K with the guys and shit, man. And this fucking little ass kid, you can always tell a little kid. So what are you in my park? What are you playing? Park. Yeah, I play park in 2K. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can add me on there. What's your guy? What is Slap, slap Daddy? Forward, sla- pat, slap power Daddy. Forward. Add me at Slap Daddy Strands if y'all want to get right in the park, man. Spell my my guys are like, Slap S L A B Daddy Strands S T R A N D Z. No spaces. Fast. Add me on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get right in the park, I'm a glass cleaner lot. Big man <laughs> in the paint. I'm locking everything down. You come down there. You gotta oh, see about big it. Big man. Oh, you gotta okay. see about me if you come down there. You know what I'm saying? But further more bro we didn't even get listen we didn't even get to the game bro we was trying to play with these niggas so we we needed five people to play in the rec we needed five people to play in the rec on 2k we had four but my man's invited a random somebody he knew but we didn't know come to find out was it that person listen come to find out bro this nigga's a hacker right this is some new level millennial shit right i'm not even on game so listen we're in a party with this guy. We're not even friends. I don't even know this nigga from a can of paint. We're just in the same party. He so started, who's the one who invited him? You had, had you a mutual him? friend invited him. It was when it, it was somebody else's so friend. So you don't know. I don't a know friend, him. Friend. A friend of a friend came oh, to the that's party. Never good. It's five people in the party now on the microphone on the headset. That's never mind good. you. We're just on the headset, bro. Oh, the this, game's not starting. You're no, just in the park. No, we're just in the park on the headset, right? The kid starts talking some gay shit, right? Some homosexual shit. Now, I don't got no problem with gay people. Oh, no. I'm going to just say that. I don't got no problem with the LGs, the Bs, and the Ts. <laughs> and you the always Gs. have to do the disclaimer. The sure. LGBs and the Ds and the Ts. You know what I'm saying? I don't, got, I don't got no problem, bro. But if it's a bunch of straight males in a party, don't come in here talking no homosexual shit, bro. Mm-hmm. So all I did was check youngin'. I said, listen, bro. It's a bunch of grown-ass men in here, man. We ain't trying to hear that right now. We just trying to ball. Right? If you ain't talking basketball, don't talk it. So my other mans, shout out to Fizzy Hendrix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga start going crazy on this young boy. He start saying to the nigga, oh, I'm blocking you, this, this, and that. I'm not muting you. I don't want to hear you talk. I wasn't even saying all that. I just kept it real with the young nigga. Gave me some game. It says, so Look, fuck up. So Fizz blocked the nigga and shit, right? Next thing you know, we don't even end up playing with these niggas. He ended up playing with the nigga who invited him into the party. Yo, they play in their own separate game. Me, Fizz, and my other man's on the court. Next thing you know, my shit just say connecting the server. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm, I'm screaming in the mic. Yo, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. <laughs> I'm lagging. Oh, I'm was lagging. it during the game? It was during the game. I'm like, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. My shit just say attempting to reconnect server. It said that shit 20 times. My shit started sounding like a robot. It was like... 
I'm black. No. I'm so it was black. sketchy shit. It sketchy was, shit, bro. It wasn't trying to connect. It bro, was, then my daughter come running to me saying, Daddy, Daddy, the Wi Fi is not working. I said, This motherfucking nigga done hacked the Wi Fi <laughs> in the whole entire motherfucking house. <laughs> No tablets, no computers, no fucking Yo. internet connection, no nothing. This nigga hacked me from my IP address from the party, and this bitch ass nigga is nowhere to be found. I wanted to punch on this nigga. I wanted to whoop on this nigga. You don't know who he is though. I don't know who he is, but he's local though. I know he's. Oh, he's local. from around here. I, and shout out to that nigga. If I ever find out who you is. I'm going to whoop on your ass, boy. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to whoop your ass, boy. I'm going to whoop you. <laughs> I mean, he's I'm on the other team, you, but that might not be a bad person to have on you, your boy. team straight up. Yeah, I need a hacker, but nigga, don't hack me, nigga. <laughs> you got to get down with me, nigga. You got to show me what you can really bring to the table, nigga. Don't fucking play with me because you an asshole. So what that, happened? Nigga. How long did it take to... Man, I had to get on the phone with Comcast. Man, the mutual friend of the friend had to get here and tell this dude, listen, man, these dudes ain't playing. You fucking with their Wi-Fi, bro, during quarantine. This shit's not cool, yeah, bro. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? They gonna fuck you up, bro. Cause I'm about to. He had to tell them like, look, bro. If, if you don't fix they shit, I'm gonna tell them where you at. Type shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the nigga, he ain't blocked my shit since. You know what I'm saying? He did it three times though. Dropped my overall three times. I'm down to a goddamn 95. And this nigga gonna make me lose goddamn so much. Overall, oh, cause when bro. cause when you lose, you lose points. Yes. It's a game yes, by game yes, thing. Yes, I yes, bro. Oh, uh, see. Oh, I haven't played. Remember the. <laughs> The last time I played, yo, was when we, when I randomly pulled up to your crib. Man. And remember, I played for like a half, maybe three minutes and brought you down two, three grades. I just couldn't get the touchdown. It's I, a bad I, feeling, bro. Yeah, it's not a good it's feeling. It's a bad feeling, bro. It's been uh, it's th three years. I put a lot of time I'm waiting 2K. for PS5, yo. That's why. Shout out to NBA 2K20, man. I fuck with that game, man. Is it good? Is it better than the other 2K? Man, listen. Have it's been? not better than 2K19. It's not better than 2K18. 2K12 is the best one. You know? But I'm going to say I that love 2K. That first game with Jordan, that was the one. <laughs> If y'all want a smart investment to make investment in NBA Live 2K21 because it's coming back out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That'd you be know what I mean? Investment. Shares are probably down right now. Get to it right now, you know what I mean? But um, let me get back to the real investment, though. Why okay. did NBA Live stop? Because 2K came out. It took it over, bro. It's just like people 2K3 stopped buying 2K3 with the iris and all the just cover. I remember it, that. Because 2K was more freestyle. The dribble and dunk and all that shit. Like, NBA Live was more... Fundamentals. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It didn't look good. What was to the, the football? Eye. What was the football game? Madden. No, the other football game. It was like it was like the NBA Live of football. Remember? We just had Madden, bro. No, there was another one. NFL Streets. It was not. <laughs> no, it was pretty much. I think it was actually the company that made 2K. <laughs> But they made a football game. I'm not sure, bro. You would know it if you saw it. I but the, what's the real gem? The real gem right now. All right, I'm gonna stop playing with y'all. This is the real gem. Pay attention, y'all. You know? If y'all want a good investment, you can go look this up on the internet, too. Invest in UPS. Because Amazon's closed right I'll now, right? That. Not even because of that. Invest in UPS for one reason. Y'all listening? I'm going to take a sip of Henry, and I'm going to tell y'all. I'm excited. That's a good bet, of Henny, too. If you're a Henny sipper, you know what I'm talking yeah, that, about. Yeah, that, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that does, doesn't taste bad right now. Shout out to my nigga Buck Marley, he know what I'm talking about. Would not say a good batch of Henny. But nah, um, UPS because they are the only mail carrying service that has negotiated with the FAA during the last two years. No to, way. To listen to me, to be able to deliver multiple packages to businesses and commercial residences. With multiple drones. Okay, let me repeat that. I think that went over y'all heads. They are the only... Do they have the aerospace cleared and shit? Listen, they are the only person that are allowed to deliver multiple packages with multiple drones to commercial residences and businesses. So what that means is other companies like FedEx and whoever else that deliver and Amazon and all that shit, they may be able to deliver with drones, but... One at a time, meaning they have to deliver a package and that drone has to fly back and then they can deliver another one. UPS is going to be the only one that can deliver with multiple drones at one time. By the time the other companies catch up, UPS will be delivering to residential, residential cribs, cribs <laughs> like uh, me and Bugs 
by then, by the time, the, and they'll be the only ones that are allowed to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Because they've been spend, spent the past two years. Negotiating. Yeah. So they're going to be able to get the advantage over everybody else, right? Mm. Invest in UPS while you can, ladies and gentlemen. The stocks might be going down right now. I'm just trying to figure how are they going to get the air, the aerospace cured? Or they already like, negotiated with the FAA, bro. No, I'm trying to just literally figure it out. Like, how? Like, think about birds and shit. It doesn't matter, bro, because drones... Are there going to be people really driving them? That would open a lot of jobs. Absolutely. It's going to open up a new source of jobs, too. Absolutely, bro. And that's fun for people to do shit like that that like to do it. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. It's going to be certain frequencies where they're going to be cleared to fly. Like, planes can only fly between certain frequencies and shit like that. Yeah. I'm sure there's a... There's got to there's gotta be, gotta be a weight limit, too. Yeah, and drones probably can't go so but so high. You know what I mean? So there's probably... Planes can't fly as low as drones. Put it that way. <laughs> True. Helicopters probably can't even fly as low as drones. Put it that way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're probably going to go as high as helicopters. You see what I'm saying? So that is why you should invest in UPS now because they're going to have an advantage over every other mail delivery service. That's so crazy. Fucking robots flying to your door. You won't even have a mailman anymore soon. A drone is going to be fucking delivering your mail to your house. You heard it here first. And drop and From shove. Young Strands on Full Radio <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> that. You did. Dude, that's so crazy, you dude. You little bitch. And that's fuck so these crazy. bitches, man. Fuck these hoes, man. What are you thinking about? Uh, are you getting a PS5 or the new Xbox? Man, listen, I'm team PS, PlayStation forever. Yeah, that's. First... I saw my PS4 three years ago because I bought it. I bought a Madden and I bought the new 2K like I do every year, and nothing improved. Mm. Like, cause, cause I'm a studio guy, so I'm like, if I'm not making music, I'm playing the game type shit, Facts. or listen, listening back and playing the game, Facts. and nothing improves. So I was like, oh, it's, I gotta wait for the PS5. Sold that shit, my music, bah, That's where you saw the improvements for real. Right, 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 right. When right. I sold that PS4 and you came back and saw like step by step everything, that was because I sold the PS4. Not definitely, man. That's you crazy. Know what I'm, I'm feeling, but it's time. I need it back. Man, that's, listen. That's what I'm saying. When I picked up your controller and. And dropped your dude three grades. <laughs> Listen, man, buggy, you've been saying this. I need you to get a PS4 and get in the mix, man. Me, you, Fizzy, you know what I'm saying? I should, just, I should just buy guys, mine back. You know what I, mean? I should Come just on, buy mine bro. back from the dude. Come on, man. Listen, bro, get the PS4 and get in the mix, bro. You got the, you got everything, bro. Come on, man. Stop with the bullshit, bro. Bro, let's get with the program. Bro. Me too. What else do you play? You just play that? Did you get the new War- Modern Warfare? I got Modern Warfare. Shout out to Call of Duty, man. I is didn't the new play one Warzone. good? Everyone's been talking yes, about it. Yes, it is. I didn't play Warzone yet, though, but I'm going to tonight. I promise I'm playing Warzone tonight. So if you, oh, got, you have it? Yeah. And you never I played it yet? I played it, but I didn't play Warzone. It's a new game mode on there. You oh, know yeah. That's mean? the... What is it? It's not Team Deathmatch. What is it? It's like, what is it? It's like, like, uh, it's like Apex Fortnite. Fortnite? Yeah. Com- I, combined. Of course. Of course. That's, that's probably steroids. way better. Yeah. Steroids, you know that's probably I mean? way better. Steroids, you know what I mean? So it's... it's, it's a it's, Call of Duty version of that? It's real lit, man. It's real fucking lit, man. Damn. You know? It's just a really fucking weird time in the world right now, man. I've been smoking mad fucking weed, eating a lot of fucking food for like the last two I weeks, bro. I've been eating a lot too, yo. Bro. I cooked a whole ham today. Bro. Big old ham. Buggy cooking ham, bro, but I don't eat pork, bro. Shout out, shout out, shout out. I know, I, I'm so sad. Yeah, I feel like you always come when I'm cooking shit that you don't eat. It don't smell too bad this time, though. No, it smells great. Bacon you know what I mean? Smells, he's always here when I'm cooking bacon and shit. Uh, that should be killing me too, that pork <laughs> bacon. I told him, just eat. Beef or turkey? Turkey beef. Beef is more similar to pork. But so you eat tacos? You'll eat a beef taco? I eat a beef oh, taco. Oh, because that's cow. Bro. That's cow. I always get people eat pork up. tacos, bro. People don't eat pork tacos. Bro. No, that's why I'm bugging out. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know what pork and <laughs> the difference between pork and beef was no. the other day. Bro, man, this coronavirus shit got me bugging out, bro. I was in the liquor store getting my henny, bro. This lady start coughing. She had a really hard cough, and she was not smoking weed. Listen, man, you can only cough if around me if you <laughs> smoke. If you're a chronic smoker or you smoke weed, if you're not none of that and you coughing around me, then I'm looking at you weird, and I want to fight. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Stay yo. Home. I want to fucking fight, and I'm looking at you weird. If I can look at you and tell your eyes ain't low, and you're not under the influence of marijuana, stay old fuck it's away like, from me. It's, it's it's one thing staying home, but it is really weird that there's no sports. Bro, I was in That's fucking, what's weird. Oh, my God, bro. That's Why the fuck is weird. Sports Center just playing fucking... Bro, the world is so weird right now, yo. Sports Center is literally only talking about NFL free agency and playing fucking reruns 
of all UFC, all football games. And be, like, bro, reruns all day fucking long. They, they're they're, they're not sitting about, there like, bro. yo, let's put together. Look, let's go through all our archive videos we never used yet and put something new together. They're not doing that. They're just oh playing God, old bro. shit. Every day is coronavirus this. Coronavirus fu- fucking virus that. Coronavirus suck my dick. <laughs> I should have invested in Corona. The beer. Because now when no, I finally come to the TV... Dope, dude. That shit dope, bro. No, listen. But now I feel like it's... I, I don't it's think It's like so. the Elon Musk thing. I now can't it's agree with up. that. Yeah, because now when I turn on the TV, you know what I see behind every coronavirus commercial? A corona commercial for Good. the beer. You understand what I'm saying? That's why you got to pay attention. <sighs> listen, I'm going to give you all a clue, bro. Listen. Well, the corona watch- is a type of flu that's been around for a while. Listen, I'm going to give a shout out to my baby mom right this now. Shout, out, shout out to my fucking baby mom because she was on point before all this shit. Like, sometimes she'd be overreacting when shit like this happened. Like, yo, why you spending all this money on this shit? Because you listening to the news and all this shit like oh, that. She's stocking me? up early? She's stocked up. I don't got to want for shit. Yo, we got fucking Lysol, sanitizer, <laughs> toilet yeah, we, paper. We ran out of Paper towels, there. Clorox, nigga, air freshener, candles, nigga. I got everything. I don't got to fucking worry for shit. I got a refrigerator full of food and shit. And she was on it, my nigga. So look, I should have listened to her because I would have invested and I would have fucking been up right now. Shout out to her, yo, because and shout out to the news. Shout out to the news. Y'all gotta pay attention. Don't listen to the news, but read between the lines. Cause they tell y'all everything that y'all don't need to know. So then you need to know what you do need to know by that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My nigga 50 Cent. Shout out to my nigga 50 Cent. Two weeks ago, he posted on his Instagram. Hydrochloroquine. Supposedly, this is the fucking cure for the coronavirus. He said that he was plugged in. He's always on there trolling. So I thought the nigga was bullshitting. What happened when I seen the news the other day? What was they posting as the possible cure for coronavirus? Hydrochloroquine. He posted that two weeks. Shout out to motherfucking... 50 cents, you feel me? <laughs> so but I want to talk about someone else on Instagram, too. I want to talk about this bitch-ass nigga, Young Chop. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. What the fuck is going on with Young Chop? Let's talk about that shit. What did that start with? He got on Gilly the Kid's Instagram Live. What was that? Like uh... Gilly the Kid was on Instagram Live, and Young Chop requested to be on there, right? And he started talking about Everybody in the industry that I fuck with. <laughs> that, oh yeah, homie was. I had a session earlier. And he, he was talking about he's Migos. Like, he's like, I fuck with Chop, but he's talking about everybody I fuck with. Migos, Twenty One Savage, Jay Z, Me- Meek Mills, motherfucking Young Jeezy. Yo, the nigga told going crazy on everybody, but at the end of the day, Young Chop, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you a fat broke nigga that always comment I'm dead on DJ Academic Post everyone nigga that's what you're fucking known for you're not known for no hit records you're not known for no fucking fire ass beats in the last century my nigga where you been you feel me you talking about New York rap drill and I respect New York drill to the fucking heart and the core because I work with a lot of them artists shout out to the artists from Brooklyn on that drill shit shout out to the producers in London on that drill shit nigga and you saying that they taking off the Chica- after Chicago nigga you should be happy nigga because Lil Durk is the only nigga right now really and Polo G and Cowboy that's carrying Chicago nigga you're not doing shit for Chicago you're not giving them niggas no production in the session today what's his name said that he said he he put Polo G on nigga nigga you lucky Polo G fuck with you nigga because see that's what I'm saying I don't know anything that's a when I say I make so much music I don't listen to much I don't follow much shit when I I literally distract myself with shit I want to know about you know what I mean? Like when you said today, like that, go on Instagram real quick. Cause that's, I was like, all right, I'm curious to see just what he's talking about. Like other than that, I'm not going to, you're good. Yo, other than that, me? I'm not going to be like, yeah, you can have that. Thanks dude. I need a crown roll back. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking, um, but that doesn't mean I don't know. I'm aware of like, okay, I hear chops been doing shit. I hear, but I don't follow much of that. The, those artists, I don't follow music anyway. Like I'm saying, but I didn't really know that it was like <laughs> like that. He talked shit about Gilly. He talked shit about everybody. Bro, I don't fucking like that fat ass nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna just Is he still with, record, like, what, does bro. he still work with Chief Keef or anyone? No, bro. He said that the industry is paying Chief Keef 
He said he's blackballed and that the industry is paying Chief Keith not to work with him. He's just talking too much, bro. He's doing too much. He came at Jay Prince Jr., bro. Come on, bro. They some real gangster niggas, bro. How the fuck you gonna come at Jay Prince and them niggas, bro? You don't know them niggas' track record, bro? You on here talking crazy, acting stupid, bro? And somebody gonna fucking beat your ass, boy. Mm. Somebody gonna... Beat your ass, boy. Soon as this quarantine shit over, you gonna think it's safe to come outside, nigga. And somebody gonna beat your fat ass, boy. You better stop doing that shit, nigga. You better Maybe stay in your he's lane. Set nigga. up on staying inside forever. You not six nine, nigga, and you not gonna be thinking you gonna just troll, nigga, and you gonna get away with that shit. Cause somebody gonna touch you, nigga. You feel me? You need more? Can I? What's that right there? That's not Henny. That's iced tea. Oh, you can take a little bit. Go ahead, but don't kill me though. Yeah, don't kill me though. I'm not. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Buggy getting more Henny. He killing me. He like Henny. I like Henny though. That's the problem, nigga. We, we both like Henny. And I only got... I'm gonna keep what it What is real. that? What is it's that? It's a personal. It's a half a pint. You feel what I'm saying? It's personal. You feel me? I can kill oh, all this guy. and feel great. You know what I'm saying? What's up with these hoes though? Man... These hoes is a mess. <laughs> when I say they a mess, Let's I mean... Stress. Stress is hot right, right now. Right stress, it, is, stress is on fire right now. Let's These hoes <laughs> is mess-y. <laughs> mess-y. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna say no names. I just be seeing shit. I just be seeing little shit. Mm. I just be seeing little shit, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> ain't you a mom? <laughs> Don't you got a kid? Wildin'. And you posting that and you doing that? Mm. 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 It's weird, yo. Today is really weird because even even girls that aren't like like that or really like that are still doing that, which means like you're ca- you're there, you know. You're still there. This the problem with my, this is the only problem I got with that shit. If you gonna do that shit and you gonna be about that whole shit, you gotta bitch. do it. Don't do it for free, you yeah. dumb backwards. Yeah, stupid that's what I bitch. mean. You gotta do it. You you gotta. <laughs> bitch, like why doing it for free? Why you doing it for free, bitch? Go get some fucking money off of that shit. Yeah, any chick who's posting bitch. her ass who who only gets like a hundred likes, like what? You should not be doing that, bitch. You, know? you need to figure it out. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> figure it the fuck out. You doing it wrong, bitch. Figure it out. I agree. The fuck, and I ain't gonna waste too much time on your nasty. Bitches, because the quarantine got y'all fucked up. You can't work the casino. You can't work the strip club. You can't do what you usually do. And now you sick. Now you sick. Now you sad. Now you sad, and I'm still getting it back. (laughs) 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 That's a shame. So um, I have a couple questions for you. And uh, we're going to call this the rapid, the rapid, John. All right, bet. And uh, this is improv. Um, All right, I'm ready. What's your favorite weed strain? Oh, man. Damn, that's a fucking hard-ass question to put me on the spot with right now. But What's your you favorite say, stony weed strain? Right the, now? The stony one. I'm fucking with runts. Give me some runts, and I'm, I'm fucking with it. Word. What's your favorite rap? What you mean, rap? Like... It's backwards. Oh. Uh, I'll take... Blinds. I'll take... Um, any day of the week, you can give me a five-pack of sweet aromatic backwards, and I'll be happy. Or, like... Would you prefer to do the J with the Fanta leaf over that? Paper with Fanta when I'm in New York is always an option on the table. But when I'm in Jersey and I'm back home, I'm smoking woods. Facts. It's bubbler for me, man. Captain, I already know. Buggy. Captain Bubbly. <laughs> Buggy Captain Bubbly. In the studio, all that. Yes, sir. Fucking, Respect um, it. If you could be any fucking dinosaur, what would you be? Oh, man. What's the really tall one with the long neck called? Long neck, I think. Shit, that's me right there. You feel me? <laughs> that's so awesome. Fuck it, nigga. We and we really outside, and we really like that. So don't Let's fucking go. play with me. You know what I'm saying? If you were um, tall and if, skinny. If you were an NFL player, what position would you play? Ooh, you know I'm a quarterback, man. Okay. You know I gotta call the shots. You know what I mean? I ain't no running back now. You know are you I mean? on a, Are you on the Peyton Manning tip or the or the Vic tip, the explosive or the coaching tip? You know what? I wouldn't say either. I would say I'm more on the motherfucking Patrick Mahomes tip. Okay. You know That's saying? kind of both, I guess. Or kind of, sort of, but I feel like it's Vic a little milder. Yeah. Peyton Manning a little more aggressive. Facts. So it's like in the middle. You feel me? I was going to say Russell Wilson, but I like Patrick Mahomes. You know I forgot they won the Super Bowl this year. You know what I'm saying? I like Patrick Mahomes. Yo, imagine if the corona happened before the Super Bowl. 
<laughs> Yo, Whoa. people would have freaked out, bro. Twenty twenty is just like strictly a reset year. Yeah, this is weird. Like, what they gonna do with the kids? How they gonna pass the kids to a next grade? Like, imagine if this shit happened when you was trying to look at college. Like well, dude, there's grade. all right. Well, the, I, I'll tell you what I know. Mm-hmm. I know um, the young, you know, the young boys um, who come and record yeah, every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, some, the, some of them are in high school. Right. So I'm like, yo, what are, what are y'all doing right now? Like, you're just off? Are they right. gonna con- extend it into? Because right. you know how a snow day, they just add right, the day right, at the right, end right, of right, the right. year. Now we have class. It's online. They have online like things that you log in, like basically a Facebook. For, yeah, and they gotta be there for attendance and all yeah, that shit like that. Yeah, but they yeah. also have video chats. Right, 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 right. So right. you can literally, you literally. <laughs> Do the fucking forty minute class by class. Do they have to submit actual assignments? To yeah, it or what? they said they're doing more work, like way more work. Well, look, I ain't even fucking. I don't give a fuck. They but should think be, about they this. should they, have to though. Cause I did college online. They need to do that. No, but listen, shit. no, but they're missing. Think about the. I get, I feel so bad for the March Madness players, yo. Like the seniors, the and athletes, NCAA. That's yeah. what I feel for because they yeah. missed them. Looks, they missed that moment. Them looks that and they should be getting. There's always a senior who has a moment in those in that shit that winds up getting drafted because of it's it. also a valuable lesson that you can never learn anywhere else, bro. You gotta take advantage of every, every chance spot. and every opportunity yeah. that you ever get, my every nigga. Every single spot. Because look, the whole world could shut down, my nigga. Then what? You feel me? What do you have? You got to have your leverage up. You got to be in position, my nigga. You got a fucking plan. You got to have that foundation beneath you. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I don't got no time for no fuck shit. And if you're not a like-minded individual, if you're not on the fucking same path as me or some shit like that, bro, or you're not positive and you're not inspiring and uplifting or you don't got that type of energy Facts. about you, then stay away from me, bro. Even if that, even when that same, moment bro. comes, if that moment comes, if you don't do what you're saying right now... You, all you're going to have are the memories. Right. You're not going to have all this electronic shit to look. You're going to have the memories like, oh, I should have did that, you know? So regardless, you should just be constantly doing that shit. Fucking, that's, that's gnarly. So, um, yo, what's your favorite color? Green. Green, word, why? Money and weed. Word. And the earth. I should have said the earth first. Earth, the earth. <laughs> earth, earth weed, and money. money. <laughs> that's the perfect combination right there. All right, um... When was the first time you knew you wanted to get involved in music? Man, listen, bro. I'm going to tell you the first bar I ever spit. That's when I knew. Because the reaction that I got. Mm -hmm. Because I used to always hang out with older people. But this chick specifically, I ain't going to say her name. She was an older chick. She's a lesbian now. You know what I'm saying? Not that that matters. (laughs) She was probably a lesbian back then, too. But she was still taking dick. So I would say she was bi at a young age. But... She got me involved in a lot of sexual activity early. <laughs> I mean, no lie. Like, she used to play me up. Yeah, we chicks. were talking about that one time. We'll save that for another podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be some some other shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, We'll get like, deep for you. Yeah, we'll get deep on some other shit. But nah, shout out to her. You know, I was walking down. Um, I was in between 5th, 5th and 4th Street on West Avenue in Ocean City, New Jersey, the town where I'm from. And I got right to the corner right before the primary school across, across the street. And I just had this instrumental in my head, but I don't know what beat it was. And I just was mumbling this shit. And then the words came out. I was like, 911, niggas on the run. 911, niggas on the run. And that's all I ever seen. And that's all I ever knew because we ran from the police a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was always with them. So, you know, they let me come around because I never snitched. You know what I mean? Even mm-hmm. when I was putting in predicament too, I didn't do it. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, bet. And that's all I knew. So that was the easiest way for me to classify what was going on around me. 911, <laughs> niggas on the run. 911, niggas on the run. Gotta tell you something. Niggas is fronting. And that was it right there. You know what I'm saying? That was a whole... And after that, I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, every time the old heads was on a block freestyling acapella or whatever they was doing, because it was certain raps that... you could just run up like, no. Nigga, I'm listen. I'm yeah, because there was certain raps that the old heads in my hood used to do to get everybody hyped and to get everybody motivated. Some of them was acapella. Some niggas used to beatbox on with the mouth. Some people used to use their chest and make the beats. This is shit you don't see no more. You feel what I'm saying? This is how I came up, though. You feel me? And this shit is the type of shit that mesmerized me. This is the type of shit that inspired me for life. You know what I mean? So when niggas was rapping and shit like that, it was certain niggas from my hood that I used to look at and be like, yo, this nigga could really rap. Shout out to T.Y. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to motherfucking ATL. You feel me? Shout out to motherfucking LP. Shout out to motherfucking Eli. You know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Fizzy Hendrix. You know what I'm saying? These are the, these are the niggas that motivated me to rap. And to really... Sp- Shout out to my nigga Beats. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Beats. Yeah. These are the niggas that really had me 
in my bag as a youngin, like, yo, these niggas on some no limit shit, but but we from where we from, you know what I mean? Like, these niggas really thugging and really doing it how we doing it and having these bitches out here and these money and these whatever, you know what I'm saying? And we got the shit cracking how we got it popping. You feel me? So, like, man. When did you know you wanted to engineer and start to do that for now? <clears throat> because, bruh, like, at the end of the day, number one, when I was around back home, when I started being an artist, it was cool before I started getting a little bit of clout. Then some of the same niggas I was rapping with started started treating me a little bit differently. And I say that to say because like we could all be in the same area. And I know I don't got no access to no studio equipment, no engineers, no producers, no beats, or really don't even know how to really get the shit popping. But y'all a couple doors down recording. Why y'all couldn't hit me? Even to sit in on a session if y'all don't want me to be on a track and get the experience. So that made mm -hmm. me feel a certain way. So that motivated me to go to full sale and take my own path and my own journey to do my own thing. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, within that, I say, yo, I could, I could be an engineer and do my own shit and not have to rely on anybody. You know, I encourage any artist or any producer or any did, creative yeah. out there to yourself. learn it, to do it yourself. Don't have even if you're not going to do it yourself in the long run, learn to know what is going on so you can direct shit and, and understand like, look, you're not doing it right. I can tell you bullshit me or whatever the case may be. You feel what I'm saying? And you and you use that knowledge that you get in the research that you get to take you even further. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's and that's something that I, I'm learning to do and learn to do. You if know you what I mean? you could tell everybody right now if you had like final words god forbid this was the last thing ever heard by human beings what would you tell them that's heavy life is what you make it stay positive stay focused and stay true to you Let's go. Me. Make some noise for shares, motherfuckers. Make some fucking noise, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some big blunts and cough loud. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, this, this was just yeah, the intro yeah. to Strands. Um, we wanted to get a little quick one in. <laughs> fucking um, like I said, we're gonna do another one where we like really dive into who he is because that's the shit I like to do. But the first ones I always like to get just the the fucking idea of who they are, what they like, and Thanks. usually motherfuckers make me talk and lead the shit. I sat back and watched you talk the whole time, yo. He was standing up preaching to the microphone type and shit. And yo, it's crazy because I feel like I got so much more to say, but I can't even hit on everything, but also at the same time, we got guests we're going to bring up. We're going to get this shit really popping. You facts. know what I mean? And I also got a podcast that I want to start myself too at the same time. You know what I mean? So we'll be sharing this simultaneously on, on Full Circle and also my shit whenever I come up with a name. I'm going to get high and kick that shit out tonight though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so next time when we link up, I'm going to dive in this motherfucker's brain. But, um, yo, thank y'all. Shout out. Stay safe. I love you. Peace, love, and sex, money, murder. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't trade. laughs>